Hello there, boys and girls. This is Teacher Jessa. Welcome to your maths lesson. Today is Sunday, April fourth, two thousand twenty-one. And today in maths, we're gonna talk about unit fraction. Are you ready? Because I am so ready. Our goal for today is at the end of this lesson, you can identify a fraction as a part of a whole, and you can read and write. Simple fraction. What are you waiting for? Let's begin. For you to be able to have a grasp of what we're going to talk about today, let's have this fraction song first. I want you to open your eyes and ears and listen to this song because you will have an idea of what are we going to talk about later on. And take note of the magic words. Okay, let's begin. If you have a pizza and want to share with your friends, then you will care how many slices you have there to divide up so it's fair. And you'll want to know a fraction is a part of a whole. A box where the numerator goes. With the denominator below. The numerator's a number used to show the parts possessed by you, and the denominator's used for the number the whole is divided into. And you want to know. A fraction is a part of a whole. Above where the numerator goes, with the denominator below. That's it. I hope you like the song. Ooh, do you know this picture here? I think some of you likes this one. This is a pizza. I have here. One whole pizza, but I have a question. What if I want to give a slice of this pizza to a friend? How I am going to name that piece of pizza? Do you have an idea? Well, kidlets, that's our topic for today. We're going to name this piece of a pizza. And we call it fraction. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. I repeat, a fraction is a part of a whole. Meaning, if we have a whole piece here, and then we took only one part, we can call it. A fraction, but how are we going to name it or count it? We will find it out soon. Look, I have here an example of a fraction. This fraction we call it one half. We call it one half. The number above it is the numerator. The number above it is the Numerator, and the number below is the denominator. The numerator tells about how many fraction pieces you have, and the denominator tells how many equal fraction pieces all together. Again, let me repeat: this is the numerator. And the number below is the denominator. So let's continue. This time we're going to talk about half. Half. Please read it with me. Half. Very good. Okay. So this is a one whole pizza, and I'm gonna cut it into half. 
Can you still remember our lesson in symmetry? If an object is symmetrical, two parts are equal. This pizza, are we having two equal parts? Yes, we have two equal parts. This part here is the same as the part here. So, did we equally cut this pizza? Yes, because this part and this part are the same. Now, how many parts do we have here? We have two parts in all. In all, all one part and one part. So, that makes it two. And this time, we have to move on to halves. Let's read it. Halves. Again, halves. So what is a halves? And what is, what is the difference of halves to half? If we are only having one part, we call it one half or half. But if we're having two halves, we call it two halves halves or one two halves is equal to one one part here and one part here when we are together when they are together it is halves or two halves it is the same as one take note of that see this one half this part here is one half only because I'm only talking about this part. But if I use two one half, now we have two halves or one whole. Two halves is equal to one whole, meaning I am talking about the two parts of the whole. But if I'm only talking about one part of the whole, it is one half. Again, one half, but if I'm talking about two, it is two halves. So, to understand this fully, I want you to take a square piece of paper, just like this one. Make sure it is a perfect square, okay? And fold it into half. So, how are you going to fold it? You will fold the square here, make it equal. Oops, you'll get like this. Now, I want you to color one part of the blue. If you want to pause this video, you can so that you can color it carefully. And after coloring, you can play the video again. Okay, so after coloring one part, you will have this one. Look, this is the colored part part of our square or the shaded part this is the shaded or the colored part and we call it one half why is it one half because we are only having one colored region or one colored part see but what if both parts are colored how are we going to call it then we call it as two halves or whole. Two halves or whole. Look, this is how we write two halves in words and whole in words. Take note of the spelling. Again, this is two halves. Both are colored region or colored parts. This time... We will talk about equal part and unequal part. What is equal part? Equal part when an object is divided equally the same, equal or the same. Look at this. This part here is the same as this one. So this is equal part. But take a look at this. This part here is bigger and this one is smaller. Are they equal? Are they the same? No, they aren't. So we call it an equal part. 
Now I have here a problem. I'm going to read it for you. And you have to think about it. Han takes some square pieces of paper and folds them. Which one has he folded into equal parts? Remember, when we talk about equal, both sides are having the same size. And an equal part, the other side may be, may be bigger or the other side is smaller. It depends. So this time, look at these two squares. Which one is having equal part? This, the first square or the second square? Take a guess. Oops, this square is having equal part. Look at this part. This is equally divided into two. Same, the one part here is same as one part here. If we fold it together, they're the same. But look at this part here. This is square, I mean. This one is having a bigger part. and This one is smaller, so it is unequal. You have to look at the line, okay? To identify if it is an equal part or unequal part. And this one, these two squares, are they having equal part or unequal part? They don't have equal parts. Take a look at this one. This one is having small part and this one is so big. So this is an equal. Also, this one look bigger. And this one's smaller, so this is an equal part. Now I have a challenge for you. I want you to help me draw or make another square and draw a line to make it equal. You can use your notebook for that. Can you do it? I know you can do it. So take a pause or pause this video and use your notebook to make an equal part of square. After, you can play this video again. Okay, let's proceed. So, I am, I'll be showing you fractions in shapes so that when you see a shape and you can see it is half into two, you'll identify what kind of fraction it is. Look at this. This is a square. This square is divided into half. See? But only one part is shaded. So, this is what we called one half. One half. This is how we write one half in words. One half. But what if this square, this square is having two shaded regions? What do you call that? We call it as two halves or whole. If this is also shaded, but if it's not, it is only one half. How about this one? This is a triangle. One part is shaded. We call it one half. One half of a triangle. This is a rectangle. One part is shaded red. We call it one half. One half. One part is shaded. But if it's two parts are shaded, it is two halves. And this is a circle. One half is shaded, so we call it one half. One half. So how about fraction in in fruits, this is fruits, by the way. I put shapes here, but this is fruits. Let's take a look at this. Oh, what fruit is this? This is a strawberry. I have here one whole strawberry. And I want to give one half of my strawberry to a friend. So I'm going to half this strawberry into like this one. See, I have here one half. And then one half, and it is two, it is halves. Two halves, two halves. Also, I have here one orange. I'm going to cut this orange into two, and it will be like this. One halves, one half. When it is two, it will be whole 
or two halves. Look at this. This is an apple. An apple. One whole apple. Now let's divide this apple into two. It will be like this. One half. One half. This part here is what we call one half. This part here is one half, but if they're together, it is two halves or whole. A pear. Do you like pear? I so like pear. This is my favorite. This is one whole pear, and I want to divide it into halves. Look what I got. One half. One half of the pear and one half of the pear. If they're together, it will be two halves or whole so today is this time you have to open your workbook i want you to answer the activity on page 110 you have to look at this parts carefully and identify which one is equal part and which one is an equal if it is equal part or the same part are you have to put a check mark but if it is not equal you have to put x okay so letter a is this equal or unequal i'll give you a bonus this one is unequal so i'm gonna put x here and you have to answer the rest okay from b c and d and after finish after doing this you have to answer the activity on page 111 now you will tick you will put a check on the illustration that shows one half only the picture okay and if it doesn't show one half you have to put x okay so after doing the activity you have to pause this video in a bit and try to circle the fraction from each row that shows one half. Take a look and answer. You can do this on your notebook. From number one, which one shows one half? You have to draw that on your notebook. Number two, which one shows one half? Draw that on your notebook. And number three, which one shows one half? You have to draw that on your notebook. Okay, so that's it. And I hope you learned something today about unit fraction. If you have questions, feel free to ask Teacher Jessa. That's all for today. And have a good day. Bye-bye, everyone. Air hugs and kisses. Love you. Thank <laughs> you.